returns the punt for the touchdown.
Nee, die liggen precies. Hey, 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 hey,
Wait, we're working on the spot. We're working on the spot. Hey, that's why you got to let go. Hey, shut up! Shut up! And you got to play away down here.
That was third down. Check in! Coach Jason Tuck of the Shaman Owls, big win, down early, but talk about your defense. Uh, I think our defense had a great plan all night. You know, gave up a couple early, but we were able to settle down. Our guys were able to make plays, and, uh, you know, at, at first, a little, little bit of us catching up, getting to that speed. You know, they're really fast, but so are we. So it took us a minute to get there, and once we got there, I think we settled down and played well. Talk about the game plan. It looked like it was you wanted to run the clock a lot to keep the ball out of their, their offense hands. Yeah, absolutely. If you watch them any part of the year, they have some great athletes. They got some good coaches. We wanted to uh, shorten the game a little bit and put the ball in our athletes' hands. 
Running game worked well. What can you say about that? Well, I just think up front, you know, we uh, we ran a little pace on offense, and I think they got tired a little bit at times, and our guys just kept coming. And, uh, you know, once we got up, we got the momentum, you know, and it was on our side. And, uh, again, their guys did a good job. What can you take from this game going into next week? Uh, we just need to focus on Bono after this, you know, continue what we're doing. We're on the road to a district championship. we got to keep going. Coach, congratulations. Thank you. All right, my man. I'm here with Ethan Kubion from the Chalmette Owls running back. Ethan, first of all, congratulations on a monster win tonight against a very formidable opponent, John Everett. Talk about the early part of the game where you guys fell behind early, but y'all stayed with the plan and got it together. What changed? Uh, as you can see on the first two drives, we had um, pre-snap penalties, and uh, it kind of pushes back to what we were doing. And um, after we came out with that second or third drive, you know, I think we're down 7-0. We came back and scored, and um, we really got momentum, and we picked it up as a whole. Talk about your offensive line in that second half. They really shortened the game for you guys. I mean, those guys just killed it in that second half for you. Yes, sir. Um, you know, those guys go to go to practice every day and they 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 bust their butts off. You know, um, and they work very hard. They, they probably work the hardest out of everybody. You know, and they want us. They 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 did re they did really good, and I, we're really proud of them. Especially me coming from my offensive line. You know, I gotta I gotta tip my hat to them. They, they did amazing. Now, you got two more games left, Bonneville next week. They're also undefeated in district. Another challenge awaits. Talk about what you guys are going to have to do to prepare. You have the extra day. Uh, we got to just prepare. Um, we just we can't take no team lightly, of course. You know, we got we to gotta go. We got to come in every week saying, like, you know, this team could beat us, and we have we got to have five days of good practice. Last question for you. How much did last year's game play on you guys' mind coming into here tonight? Wait, say that again, sir? How much did last year's game play into your head that Eric came into your house in one district, now you've come into their house and taken a little bit of a step forward for that? You know, um, I'll say um, it's kind of a different offense, too. Um, you know, last year we kind of re relied on the um, run, and but we kind of did it this game. But um, we kind of, you know, we kind of spread them out a little bit, and then we still ran up the middle, and uh, we did amazing with that. Kubion, thank you, man. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. All right, Ashton Lopez, quarterback of Chalmet. First of all, congratulations on this very big win. Coming into Eric's house and getting the job done, you guys started a little bit slow. What changed for you guys? What did you see differently as the game progressed? Well, as the game progressed, the hole just started to open up, and I was hitting the holes. We started getting, being able to pass. Like, flags were not happening no more, no pre snap penalties. That really helped us. Now, Alex Ethan, I'm going to ask you, that offensive line really came to bear in that second half. Talk about their play and, what, and how it changed the game for you guys. Hey, as soon as they started opening the holes, that's when you've seen the big runs that helped me. They, they really led the path for me so I can get the yards. And with an athletic defense like Eric, that's, that's a really tough defense. You know, they're very fast and athletic. Talk about what you guys saw on film coming in about John Eric's defense. I mean, we seen they were big, but all we did, we seen they were couldn't control themselves, just run up the field. So we took advantage of that, and we ran up the field. So last question to you, Ashton. Uh, you guys now have a little bit of a leg up in district. You got Bonneville next week. Again, that's another team that's undefeated. You got two games left. Coach Tucker talked to you guys in the post game. What are you guys going to have to do to stay at this level? We're going to have five days of hard practice, not underestimating them, do what we usually do, and we're going to win. Okay. Ashton Lopez from the Shaman Owls. This is George Peppers for the Ashton Owls Show. All right, Ashton.